Today, I'd like to show you how to use Monster Insights to track the YouTube videos that you have embedded on your WordPress site. That way, you can see how many visitors you're getting from YouTube, what pages they're landing on, what other pages they view, and how engaged your viewers are. All right, let me show you how easy this is. Once you have Monster Insights installed at the plus the license level or above, follow these simple steps. First, you'll just need to install the media add-on. Now, to do that, just visit Insights and then go to Add-ons. Next, click Install under the Media Add-on. Next, you'll need to turn on video tracking for the type of videos that you have on your site. So all you have to do is just go to the Settings, and then to Publisher, and then scroll down to the Media Tracking box. All right, once you're there, just click the button next to the type of videos that you want to track. So we'll just enable tracking for the embedded YouTube videos. Now just go to the Media tab to see the stats about your embedded YouTube videos. You'll see the video plays displayed in a graph right here at the top of the page. Then you'll see the name of the video, the number of plays, the average watch time, the average percentage that was watched, the completion rate of your videos, and all of that data is sent to Google Analytics as events as well. All right, so how are we doing so far? Does all this make sense? If you need instructions about how to install and connect your WordPress site to Google Analytics using Monster Insights or information about our pricing, then check out our post on how to use Google Analytics for YouTube step-by-step. Step. I'll leave a link in the description. While you can find this important data right inside Monster Insights, there are a few other video reports that you can view in Google Analytics. So let's just jump over to Google Analytics, and I'm going to show you how to find out how many visitors you're getting from YouTube. All right, once you're there, just go to Acquisition, and then to Traffic Acquisition, and then find youtube.com forward slash referral in the list. Now, to see which pages YouTube visitors are landing on, you'll just need to create a comparison. It's not hard. All you have to do is just go to Engagement, and then to Pages and Screens, and then click on the Add Comparison button at the top. Now type Session Source in the box until you see Session Source forward slash Medium. And now, when you select it, another box is going to appear. Now, in this box, you want to start typing YouTube until you see either Desktop or Mobile or both and then check one or both of those. Now just click the blue Apply button. Next, click the three dots next to All Users and choose Remove Comparison. Now just click the X to collapse the Comparison Building window and scroll down to the table. Now you're looking at the pages seen by just your YouTube traffic. Well, if you've made it this far, why not check out our post on the six best WordPress YouTube plugins? I'll leave a link in the description. There you have it, just a few steps. Now you know how to use Monster Insights to track YouTube videos. With Monster Insights, you get to website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites are using us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, well, I've left a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.